Hey, greetings from Texas. So I've been uh, busy last couple of weeks. We had a slab leak in the house. So I had plumbers come in. My uh, water heater was 15 years old. So I went ahead and to save money, replaced it myself. It wasn't a big deal. So yesterday I did my own drywall work, put a patch here where they cut in. I still have to sand that down and put another coat of joint compound on and then texture it. The big reason I'm making this video is um, I also decided to recalk the shower. So I took up the molding that goes around the base and cleaned that out really good. But the reason I'm making this video is if you have to caulk something, I would recommend getting one of these uh, three-in-one tools it's the first time I've really used it. I used to use a wet finger before, but this has three radiuses. This one's for tight, and you just pull the silicone pad off and flip it around to the site. But you can see it really helped me lay a nice, clean bead all the way around. And I had a big gap here to fill, and that's what the molding's going to cover. So when that gets dry, I'll do that. But yeah, if you got to do some caulking, I get this tool it has a scraper corner scraper here and um, the application tool so just a shout out for whoever made that and um, it's really simple to do it's just a little bit painstaking all right well I thought I'd share that with you um, I don't know who makes this tool Anyway, thumbs up on that product. All right, I'll go ahead and show you how I use this tool. Anyway, we're gonna, uh, we have a narrower bead to do, so I'm gonna cut off that tip at 45. And I have this set up the uh, small radius. <laughs> 